What is up, fight fans? UFC 189 is now over. Fuck, I hate when this happens. Uh, it's over. I tried to do a video last night to tell you about the fight results, but I was too drunk. I couldn't even fucking speak. So here you go. I was wrong in my predictions with Robbie Lawler and War McDonald and Chad Mendez versus Conor McGregor. And this thing will not stay up. Point is, I had Roy winning. Roy got fucking trashed by Robbie Lawler. I mean, he was, if you saw the fight, they both looked like they was fighting in Mortal Kombat or something. Roy's nose was fucking busted open. It looked like it was broke. Um, it was, it was probably one of the best fights I've ever seen. But in the fifth and final round, Roy couldn't get up and they called the fight. So they gave the fight to Robbie. Robbie defended his title and he won the fight via TKO. Uh, Robbie Lawler is a fucking beast. I don't know who who's next in line for him. Is it going to be Johnny Hendricks? You know, is it going to be like uh, Carlos Condit? I don't know who's going to fight him next. But God help him. That's all I'm saying. They better knock him out because he is just ferocious. So, yeah. I, sh I knew I should have picked Robbie Lawler to win that fight. Now, with Conor McGregor and Chad Mendez, I was wrong on that prediction. Again, I didn't even want to pick that fight because I knew that it was 50-50, anything could have happened. Conor McGregor finished Chad Mendez like he said he was going to do in the second round. That dude is fucking promising with his words. He's like, I'm going to finish you in the second round. I'm going to knock you out in the third round or whatever. And he does it. What other fighter has done that? They called their finishes. That's pretty crazy. Um, but he was getting take, taken down by uh, Chad Mendez. Chad Mendez was taking him down, throwing ground and pound. He even cut him up. They said that he looked rocked. You know, um, Connor said it, that, it, that he wasn't rocked. He did look a little rocked to me, but not enough to really, you know, destroy him. I think what really bothered Chad. He just he gassed out. He tried he tried so hard on that guillotine. I think he just gassed his arms out and he couldn't hold up his hands anymore. And what you saw was Conor McGregor capitalize on that and knock him out. Well, TKO him. He dropped him and just started doing some ground and pound on him. Uh, Conor McGregor is a beast. He's a monster. Same thing with Chad Mendez. Both respectful after the fight, which I love. I I gained a lot of respect for Conor McGregor after he defeated Chad Mendez because he was, you know, he wasn't being a dick. Um, the fight was beautiful. Conor showed everybody. Everybody's like, "Oh, Conor's exposed." How's he exposed? He got he got taken down by a fucking wrestler, and he didn't get held down. You know what I mean? He got right back up and finished the wrestler off on the feet. So, I don't know how he got exposed, but, you know, he won. He's a champion. Give the guy his fucking credit. You know what I mean? And here's here's one thing that's going, that is awesome about this. You know that there's going to be a super fight. Two champions for the undisputed belt, and that's Jose Aldo, or Jose Aldo, however you want to pronounce it, and Conor McGregor, the interim champion. They're, they're going to fight. And I cannot fucking wait for that fight. This is going to be the biggest selling fight of all time. Chad and uh, Connor got 7.1 million. This fight's probably going to get up to 9 to 10 million. I guarantee it. This is going to be the biggest selling. And it's going to make Connor McGregor and Chad Mendez look small in comparison to Jose Aldo and Connor McGregor. So I am pumped for this fight. And by the way, there's a bunch of people I've been reading the com I always read my comments. People's like, "Oh, you're not a fan of Jose. You're you're hating on him. Your logic is stupid and all this stuff. He doesn't have a broken rib. Uh, I mean, he has a broken rib and all this stuff." I'm like, "Listen, if you'd watch or see the doctors' reports, there's different opinions on him. A, a lot of doctors from the United States are saying that he has torn cartilage and he just has a bruised rib." That's it. Now, doctors over in Brazil were saying, no, 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 he has a broken rib. He can't fight. 
I'm leaving that up for you to decide. You know, does he have a broken rib or bruised rib? To me, really, I don't give a fuck. Because I know they're going to be fighting pretty soon. We had an awesome time watching the fights last night. I know I did. I was drunk or shit, you know. Um, still kind of feeling it today. I'm just pumped up, man. Chad Mendez put some work on him. He got some takedowns, split Conor McGregor open. But Conor McGregor has heart, and he finished Chad Mendez. And he will be fighting Jose. I cannot wait for that fight. Jose, please stay in the fight, man. I hope that you don't get injured. I hope that, you know, everything runs smooth for you because I want to see the king of mixed martial arts fight the Ireland king of mixed martial arts. So, tell me what you all thought about the fights last night. I know for a fact that I enjoyed them. Um, and tell me all what you all thought about Chad Mendez and uh, Roy McDonald's performance. Who's next for them? And what do you think? What do you think of Robbie Lawler and um, Conor McGregor's performances? We all know who's next for Conor McGregor, but I don't know who's next for Robbie Lawler. So tell me what you all think in the comment section. Peace out, fight fans. This is Waylon Thacker signing out.